Hey guys, Private Jack here, and in this session what we're going to do is we're going to look at installing Cat's Blender plugin uh, for that will allow us to import MMD type models. So finding Cat's is pretty easy. All we have to do is open up a web browser, type in a search, Cat's Blender plugin. As soon as it pops up, hit the first link and this site here give me all your cats cat blender plugin github is where we want to go to get the tool so click on that link and here we have the github now basically as with any github the author usually has a releases section click on releases and you want the most current version and as you can see the most current version right now is 0.17.0 if I scroll down the page here I find that there's a zip file I click on the zip file and download it and that comes down and it's going straight to my desktop as with anything I download from the net what I do is I right click and I do a virus scan so it's going through, it's looking through 269 files, it comes back and reports safe, no threats detected. So I'm willing to work with this now. I can close off the actual web browser now and launch my version of Blender. Currently I'm using Blender 2.910 Alpha and this will work in 2.83, 2.82, etc. So from here, I click on Edit, Preferences. I click on the Install button, and I point this browser to my desktop where I downloaded or wherever I downloaded that zip file to. Click on the zip and click Install Add-on. As soon as I do that, the add-on will appear in Disabled mode. I click the checkbox and turn it on. Come on, turn on. There we go. Now Cats will put itself over here on the transform toolbar. And this is Cats. Now inside Cats, there's a Cats is a, a kind of a special plugin where it actually uses more than just one tab on the toolbar. Over here I can see that it also added an MMD tab. And this is Sugani's uh, MMD tools. Uh, it added a MISP tab. This is allows us to work with the MMD shaders. And it added CATS. Now also inside CATS, there's a couple of other things. This thing works with uh, XPS tools and it also has a material optimizer. If we come down here and look at optimize, and here we have a thing called uh, Material Atlasing by uh, Chartari, uh, Chartaria. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but this is another add-on. And basically what this is, allows us to do is combine materials together into one sheet. Or textures, rather, into one sheet. So what we can do is, if you want to use this, click on the download link here. It'll open up the web browser and it'll take us to this area here, okay? And this is the material combiner add-on. The current version is 2.1.7. All we have to do is come down here and download it. This will take us and put it on our desktop or wherever we've got our downloads going. Again, with anything that I do from the net, I right click on it, run it through a virus scan, comes back, report safe, no threats. I'm happy with that. And it's a matter of adding the add on again to Blender. So edit, preferences, click on the install button, find that zip file that downloaded the material combiner add-on, install the add-on, 
Here it is, it shows up in disabled mode. Turn it on and cats will find it. So now I've got this add-on ready to work with. Up here in model, uh, uh, import models, if I click on this little bar here, this will allow me to import MMDs, XNA lore dolls, source engine model doll, uh, uh, source engine models, and FBX and VRM models. However, in order to do that, if I want to be able to import XNA lore dolls using this tool, I have to have John 07's XPS tools installed, and I have a video on installing that. I'll link it in the uh, description. And we have to have Blender Source Tools uh, enabled. So basically, those are the things. Uh, other add-ons that this thing actually runs off and looks for. If you don't have XNA, if you don't have XPS Tools installed, and you click this link, it'll tell you, give you an error saying that you have to have that installed. If you click on this one and it gives you an error saying that you don't you need to have blender source tools installed fbx now this one here i'm kind of thinking that it, the xps tools is uh the actual fbx importer that comes with blender and all we have to do to make sure we have got that turned on is go edit preferences come up here to the description uh, to the uh, search engine Type in FBX, and this FBX importer is native to Blender. It comes shipped in Blender. All you have to do is enable it to turn it on. Okay, so that's installing Cat's Blender, uh, Blender plugin in a nutshell. So now I have the ability, if I come over here and look at my importers, I now have the ability of importing PMD, PMX, and VMD files. I also have the ability of uh, bringing in pose data if, uh, if I want to bring that in as well. So, so far we've installed, uh, we've turned on Collada, we've turned on STL, FBX, uh, GIFTF, uh, Wavefront uh, OBJ. We've installed XPS tools. We've installed Blender Source tools, and we've installed Cat's Blender plugin. On top of that, we've also installed uh, Shateria's uh, Material Combiner. So, um, I think I will get into installing NIF because it is a, a, a a stubborn program to get installed and that'll be in the next video so with that I say private Jack out